Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. Very excited for today's session because we're going to be doing some really fun stuff. Uh, we're finally getting a brand new exhibit, which I think will be very fancy. Some interesting suggestions in the comments are leading to, the, uh, to what you're going to see today. Really excited to get started. So back to Elite Zoo North, our glorious franchise of one zoo, finally making some money. We're almost a two-star zoo, so that feels good. We've got plenty of animals, over 350 guests, and you know what? We are making a decent chunk of change. So I am feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, and with the additions we're going to be making today, a little bit of foreshadowing going on over here. With the additions we're going to be making today, I imagine our profits and all will skyrocket, hopefully. Maybe I shouldn't speak so, um, optimistically, because you never know when things are going to go sideways, right? You never know when things are going to go sideways. So, uh, what, are the, what are the plans for today? So, first of all, there's a little bit of management stuff that I need to take care of in terms of some of the work zones, in terms of our employees, uh, you know, like staff rooms, maybe hiring some more employees and stuff as well. Uh, so, that's definitely something we have to prioritize, um, it's, especially when it comes to uh, the keeper um, houses, keeper huts. I was like, houses, houses in the word, right word. Uh, keeper huts closer to some of our exhibits. So we're going to do a little bit of that, manage some of the work zones, manage our staff, uh, manage some of the uh, adjustments to this viewing plaza as well. Um, and then I think a big chunk of this episode is going to be building a grizzly bear um, exhibit enclosure. The word always, always escapes me. Uh, and the grizzly bear ex. I was going to call it an exposure this time. Enclosure. Jeez, I'll get it one time. I'll get it eventually. Uh, it's going to be over here. Uh, and the reason for that is that we've got the uh, water down over here. And what I'd like to do is I, I, this is going to be a very water infused uh, enclosure. And what I can actually do and what I will do is I will avoid going too far down above the uh, a water filtration plant or system or whatever you want to call it. And then dig down. And get a nice cave type area over here once again so that guests can uh, take a look at the bears maybe napping and stuff I, I don't think i'll pull too far back like i don't think the enclosure will start all the way back over here maybe it'll start over here at this junction so um we'll, we'll be able to pull some pathing out this way go around on one side and that way we can come and loop back up over here as well my hope is we'll get this um yeah so this will be the grizzly bears and eventually just to give you guys some insight into future planning if this is the grizzly bears then i would like to to do now uh, many of you are asking in the comments for the snow leopard and i looked it up on the uh the the zoopedia wikipedia site and it said the snow leopard is only in asia and that sounded wrong to me so we're going to check on the actual zoopedia here snow leopard there we go surely ah it is only in asia like i want i want this area to be america's focus so i can't think of another america's um I wish you could filter this by uh, by location. I, I, I can't think of another America's uh, animal that would require a cave to stay in. So what I might do is make this our uh, grizzly bear enclosure uh, and then make this our um, bison slash pronghorn enclosure. And that would be a pretty big one, I think, because they'll need a lot of space. But this will probably be our first joint enclosure where we have two animals roaming together. Many of you have said that's very good for donations and stuff. So I'll definitely be looking at that. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit of future planning. And then eventually we'll probably swing out this way. This will probably be my Asia section. So I don't know if we'll start with, uh, you know, like South Asia, uh, East Asia, and or, <laughs> yep, that much space. Probably like South Asia, East Asia, and, uh, you know, whatever's left, I guess. And then on this side, we can have our Africa region, I suppose. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. And then maybe Europe is further up over here. We'll figure it out. Uh, nonetheless, before I get into all that, we're going to do a little bit of management stuff. Uh, and, and before I get into that, I just want to mention very quickly, folks, if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue, and it seems that many of you would, in fact, like to see it continue, the best thing you can do to let me know is leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, I know it might seem, it might feel a little repetitive. It might feel like, oh, party, stop asking for that. It really helps me make decisions on the channels in terms of uh, what I should do more or less of. So just leave a like, leave a comment down below. Helps me make those decisions. And I do like to read through all of the comments. I try to reply to all of them, either with actual words or with a like or by uh, referring 
referring to them when I'm, I'm you know, using your feedback or suggestions. So, uh, yeah, do keep it coming. And I'm glad to see you guys are enjoying the uh, the episodes because I'm certainly enjoying playing the game. Uh, it's been it's been a ton of fun so far. Yes, a little bit of jankiness here and there, but overall, it's been a ton of fun. Now, one thing I'm going to do to kick things off is before I forget, I'm going to adjust this barrier and make this section a null because we don't need because we have uh, this here now, we actually could make this into a null section, uh, saves us a little bit of money, but more importantly, it, well, um, that's not exactly what I meant to do. Uh, it allows us to, uh, if I could just deselect, there we go. It allows us to adjust this area a little bit, and it allows the tortoises to come a little bit closer to the edge here. Oh, well, for some reason, you're not allowing me to, why? Why game? Oh, I see, I think I know why. No, actually, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Obstructed, you say? That's a very strange statement. I mean, I guess I could keep it... Well, I don't want them to have that gap over there they can just kind of sneak through. What if I add another spot? No. What if I add another spot here and move you up? Okay, that was... That's strange. That's very strange. We need to find a way to, to close that off without me having to... Um, adjust my entire structure up over here. Huh, yeah, that is very strange, isn't it? There's no reason it should be obstructed. Uh, now this isn't... Actually, you know, the baby tortoises might actually get through there. Hmm. Hmm. This does need adjusting. We can't just leave it as is. Oh, this is weird. Is it the path? I wish it would just tell me what's causing the obstruction. Nothing seems to... Like, it just happens when we get over this way a little too much. Fair enough. Here's what I'm thinking we do then. Let's go ahead and add a section to you. Right about over here, perhaps. Move you up like so. No, yeah, it's really weird. Move you up like so. And we'll make you a wooden... Wood log barrier. Whoops, sorry. That's still a null. You, wood logs... This is very strange. What? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. All right, you know what? We're going to just undo all that real quick. Uh, definitely going to change the glass into uh, not glass. All right, come on. Let's let's just... For now, a we'll, temporary solution. Temporary solution. We'll go ahead and make you uh, steel mesh as well. We can actually lower the height of all this, because if I recall correctly, some of you were pointing out that uh, the height only needs to be a meter. Uh, so let's just take a quick double check on that. Uh, where are we? Natural habitat grade 1. Doesn't specify here. Trying to remember where it specifies. I believe it doesn't need to be too high. I believe it does not need to be too high. So let's go ahead and uh, at least make it a bit lower so guests have an easier time viewing. Now, many of you were actually asking about the... Um, the option to walk through, have it be like a walk-in type enclosure. And I was going to do that, but it was pointed out that tortoises are pretty shy and they might not uh, appreciate people being in here. It might make them very uncomfortable. So uh, in the in the best, best interest of the animals, uh, we're not doing that for the tortoises, but we will do that for the um, peafowl, which I intend to get soon. Let's go ahead and drop you guys right down to a meter. Oh yeah, that should be more than enough for the tortoises. And that should be good. Now, there, there have been some suggestions about the um, the mound as well and, like, making it less steep because it seems like the tortoises aren't actually going over. Um, that's something I will experiment with later on today, potentially, or maybe the next episode. Sorry, I didn't want to get bogged down with the tortoises and then I got distracted because I thought this was going to be quick and easy. Um, I Perhaps fitting that I began that section by talking about how there's still some jankiness. Oh, we're about to see some right now. Come on. I just want to move you. No, not you. I want to move you. You know what? Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna step away from that part of the zoo right now. Uh, now, many of you have suggested that I change the working times of our zoo uh, because apparently it doesn't actually affect our. Um... Oh yeah, there we go. It doesn't affect our income it doesn't affect wages it doesn't affect happiness or anything like that all it does is it ensures that the sun will stay up over our heads and we're not going to deal with nighttime i think that's going to be a temporary thing uh, i'm going to probably change that as soon as i'm 
uh, feeling comfortable with splurging on a lot of lighting because I do like how the game looks at night. I just understand, I totally understand, it's really hard to kind of view because of how dark it gets in YouTube compression. Uh, but for now, we're going to adjust the hours like that. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the suggestions and feedbacks and pointers you guys left behind. For one, many of you pointed out that it seems as though I haven't actually... <laughs> I didn't actually sell any of my spiders. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Uh, but let's go ahead and quick trade them. Oh, I see what happened. I must have clicked it, and the game said, No, we're not going to sell them for you. Well, I... Okay, there's... I mean... Not much I can do other than spam clicks, I guess, right? Quick trade. Oh, do I have to do it individually? Ah, uh, seems to be the case. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and quick trade all of you, and let's make a quick check as well. Some good money made there, over a grand, well, like 1.2. And let's take a quick look down over here as well, and check up on our rattlesnakes, because we might have... We do! We got a little baby rattlesnake. Now, what, what is... Hold on a second. What is that? This tells me what. So we gotta definitely get rid of one of these, because otherwise they're going to be fighting. Longevity is pretty good, fertility is pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at our um, stats overall in terms of the animals we have. Surely there's a- there we go. Animals, we've got... So Trinity... That must mean it's a baby. I'm guessing that's like the little baby carrier that a stork carries a baby in. So we've got Trinity, Emberly, and Dur... Word. Dur... Dur... Derward. Not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, we could get rid of... Oh, we could get rid of Trinity. Get rid of... We release Trinity into the wild. And allow Emberly and Derward to have more kids. Um, that feels like the right call, because Derward is more appealing than Trinity. So, Trinity, uh, aren't you a little young to release into the wild? I mean, don't you typically want to release them when they're a little bit older? And in fact, how... Uh, wait, times conceived? What does that mean? Uh, how... It used to be a little button here, so now it was a storage. Just sworn it was right down here, wasn't it? It used to be. Sorry, I, I did the tutorial, I got familiar with it, and, and you can see how rarely I send, uh... Yeah, okay, so I guess snakes can't be released into the wild? That's wild. Shouldn't be because of, um... I, I, I don't imagine it's because it was born in captivity. Anyway, we should at least take her away. Move her into the Trade Center. And back in the Trade Center. Wow, she'll trade for a fair price. Not bad. It's not bad. And actually, let me just check real quick. Uh, her fertility is 83%. Well, she's not going to be... Uh. So, some of you were actually asking. And, uh, yes, for... Uh, not fertility, sorry. But, um... Uh, in... in Inbreeding is actually a thing, so you do have to be wary of that. Uh, inbreeding will cause harm to genetics and all. Anyway, so we've taken a look at the snakes, we've taken a look at the spiders. Uh, there was a suggestion as well that I should perhaps do a little bit more research into the snakes as well. We did a little bit already. Uh, I could get Uma Dunbar, who seems to be done her training. Um, yeah, she's okay with her thing, capable. Uh, so yeah, she's done with her training, so let's go ahead and assign her to... Uh, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake for now, and once the tortoise is done its level 5 research, we might uh, get Tia to level up as well. We might train her, and we want to start researching some of the diseases as well, because otherwise we're going to start seeing disease as the population grows in our uh, zoo, and we won't have any solutions for them, so that'll be a problem. Uh, so that's all that done, and actually, on the topic of research, it was mentioned that the wolf uh, group size has actually changed. They, they modified it, Ah, that's awesome. So you can actually have... Oh, that's awesome. Really? You can... That you, well, hold on a second. I mean, I'd love it if that was the case, but... But... Amazing! Up to 12 males, up to 12 females. That feels more right. That feels a lot more right. So these pups shouldn't have a problem. Now, it was suggested, it was recommended that we need to uh, maybe create some more space as we get more pups. And I might actually create an underground passage down over here and have like an offshoot uh, wolf exhibit over here as well. It'll still be wolf rock, uh, but people will be able to see it as they go by. 
Um, that's, that's, that was suggested in the comments as well, and I've been thinking about that for a while, because as we get a group of 12, this isn't going to be enough space for the Wolves. So glad I checked that for sure. Now, let's go ahead and hire a couple more staff members. We need some more vendors for sure, especially. So let's go ahead and get some more vendors over here. I'll just get one of you and another one of you. And I would very much like to assign them the work zone as well. Everyone into central, please. Make sure everyone's in the central work zone. Sorry, so we're, we're starting off with a fair bit of like, yeah, this kind of management stuff. Hope you guys don't mind. I mean, it is part of the game. Uh, so I hope, hope none of you mind that uh, there's some time being spent on this. A couple of idle vendors, unfortunately. But I'm fine with that. I want to make sure these never... Uh, stay un, uh, unoccupied. I want to make sure people are always able to use this if necessary. Let's go ahead and drop the price over here to zero. Hopefully that'll get people to withdraw more money and spend it more often as well. So that's more vendors and let's go ahead and get another keeper at the very least. One more keeper. Uh, because I think it would be quite helpful. Weird that that didn't pop back open. Let's go ahead and drop your salary a little bit. And let's actually yeah, get you into central. No, we got to keep them hired for a little bit before we can uh, train them. So that should help balance out the workload a little bit. And as far as the work zones are concerned, uh, it seems as though I have skipped out on some things. Now, it doesn't look like... Yeah, you, you cannot add uh, bins and, uh, and education boards or anything to the... Um, to the work zones you can add the turnstiles uh, but you cannot add bins or anything like that that, that was a question or that was a comment that was mentioned uh and no it seems seems as though that is not a thing that needs to be taken care of uh, apart from that we do need to get okay so we need to get a second staff area and i'm wondering if we make sort of an offshoot over here where we get um let's see where is our attractiveness um, negative impact right so this is uh, you know what, it's not the biggest. And I don't think the area is affected by, um... Uh, I don't think the area is affected by, uh, it being covered. It doesn't seem to be the case. So what I could do is I could put a staff resting area over here, as well as a, um, keeper hut over here. Keeper hut will be used to help the, uh tortoises and then when guests eventually are able to move this way for our other exhibits uh they'll be able to um you know rest over here and pick up stuff over here so i think that's probably uh, a good way to go about it let's go ahead and add some of the pathing first over here make it our you know another thing that i don't know is what are the queues for i understand why planet coaster might have had them but when do you queue up for uh at a zoo i suppose oh you know what it'll be for the rides and stuff that's probably what it's for are we able to... That is where it's going to get funky, because... Um, so why would the game allow me to make this easy? Why? I could start from here and, like... Combine it like that. There we go. That makes <laughs> that makes life a lot easier, actually. Uh, so we do that, and then we can have, yeah, the Keeper Hut and stuff over here. We'll cover it off nicely, uh, because I don't want people to be able to see it from the plaza. I actually might want to take it a little bit further. Just a little bit further. Go ahead and angle snap it, so it's... There we go. And then we can have, yes, staff facilities, um, the keeper hut, small keeper hut, and maybe a large staff room. Do we have large staff rooms available yet? We do not. Fair enough. Fair enough. So keeper hut small. Maybe on this side. Again, just want to keep it as far from our guests as possible. Might need to move it again later. We've got you over here. Let's say. And then we've got our staff room like so, and we can have a little path over here. Yeah, that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and make sure we can actually add the path here. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, no, okay, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, because we can do that, and we can do this, and then we can go ahead and close that, and then we can go back into this. I'm, I'm, uh, like I'm taking meditative courses over here, it's like, yeah, I'm trying to just stay calm and happy and not really worry about little things like paths not working. There we go. Do something like that. Nothing too crazy over here. Again, if we need to, we're able to expand the path, uh, the staff facilities over here a little bit. And uh, we'll, we'll doll this up in a time lapse. So that's that. Should really help us out a fair bit, I think. And uh, apart from that, one last thing I need to do over here is I might need to get rid of or adjust the picnic benches. Because it feels like people aren't actually able to get back here. 
Um, so let's go ahead and adjust these a little bit. Get you like so. We're, we're going to see if this works. Because if this works, that'll be nice. We still get the three benches. If this still doesn't work, if this still doesn't get occupied, we'll try and sell this one for now and see if people are able to come through. Uh, might also get rid of this tree over here and make a bit of a canopy kind of a thing. I have some plans for how this might look. But again, that'll be a time lapse. Uh, in fact, you know what, folks? I think... I think what we're going to do is we're going to kick things off with a bit of a time lapse dealing with this front area because there are some beautification projects, mini beautification projects uh, for the entrance for this area and for this area that I'd like to do before we get too ahead of ourselves. So uh, bear with me, folks. That's the first of many bear puns to come today. I should hope at least. But yes, bear with me as we hop on into time lapse mode, get all this stuff prettied up a little bit, and then we'll take a moment to manage some stuff, let time move forward a little bit, make a little bit more money, and then get back into making our uh, uh, grizzly bear exhibit uh, shortly afterwards. Let's hop on in. All right, this uh, first one is our, th I think our our shortest time lapse today. I, I start off uh, dealing with this barrier again. It was just frustrating me so much. I, I couldn't help myself but go back in here and try to figure out what's gone wrong. Uh, thankfully, it was just a matter of adding a couple of new spots and adjusting that corner a little bit. Not sure what's causing the issue there, but at the end of the day, doesn't matter because the problem has been solved. I also noticed that uh, the height hadn't actually been reduced. I uh, must have misclicked or something, but we pulled it all down to one meter. That should give better views and stuff as well. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll find out. I mean, while over here, just making some more adjustments, this ends up being a bit of a time lapse that covers uh, the overall aesthetic across the zoo a little bit. But uh, focusing on this um, plaza area, I suppose we could call it, I decided to add something of a canopy. So we're just looking for the right kind of material uh, and, and the right setup to get this canopy going. I decided to go sort of standard over here until we're able to unlock maybe some more interesting looking um, materials, but we'll, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, right now, we basically just go ahead and uh, you can see me kind of struggling to find the appropriate type of plank to use up top over here, but there we go. We finally found one and uh, it's the right length. It's almost actually, I would say even the perfect length and yeah it's just a matter of extending that a little bit uh, i'm really hoping that uh, now many of you pointed out in the comments that i should really consider the uh uh you know, covering guests, they enjoy being covered when it starts to rain or snow and things like that. So I really need to start getting more of those in as well. And this is my first go at getting one of those done. Uh, I figured, again, if it starts to rain or snow, maybe they'll find this as a suitable place to go. I just realized actually right now that I forgot to uh, get heating in here. So I should maybe get some heating up on the plaza as well so people are comfier up there and maybe they might spend some time over here. And then apart from that, considering if I can maybe add some moss or greenery to the top of that plaza area just to make it look a bit nicer, Decided not to mess with that right now, decided to move on because otherwise we'd be here all day. And uh, it was another suggestion to actually add some of these vine type things to the entrance. And I think that's a great call. It just gives it a nicer uh, feel and look when you get in here. So uh, I did a little bit of looking around to see how it looks from both the entrance and the exit. Feel pretty happy with how that feels. And then kind of <laughs> kind of flip-flopping back and forth between uh, focal points over here. Now we're back over here, and I, I was thinking about this. Actually, I couldn't stop thinking about this ever since the uh, last episode uh, that I'd left this unsightly gap beneath the, the ramp over here. So I decided to go in here and kind of clean it up using those uh, climbing platform pieces. Uh, you know, pretty happy with how it ends up looking. Uh, I don't mind the, the, the change in direction of the logs. Uh, I feel like it kind of fits the overall build, the overall aesthetic, and the overall approach. So pretty happy with that. And of course, had to get it on this side, uh, arguably the inner uh, angle or the inner, you know, approach on the ramp is more important, especially since that's what the guests will be seeing more than the other side. But yeah, just going in there and nuanced a little bit and making sure it all looks and feels right. Very happy, actually, with how that plaza area looks. Really happy, actually. That, uh, I my voice, I don't think, expresses how happy I am with that. Uh, the roof needs some work, but apart from that, I'm pretty happy. Then over here, we wanted to make sure that these guys were covered up again. I don't think covering them up actually makes a difference in terms of the uh, uh, impact to guests. Now, these guys are far enough away. I don't think it's going to be a problem anyway, but still, we want to make sure that we maintain the overall aesthetic and feel. Uh, don't want to use mechanics as an excuse for leaving parts of the zoo unbuilt, unless it's a cost-saving uh, method, of course. That's a, that's a very specific scenario in which we might want to cut some corners, temporarily, of course. Uh, but yeah, just doing what we did in the central area as well. And then, of course, wanting to create a bit of a um, sort of 
canopy type thing here as well. Wasn't sure what kind of material I wanted to do with. Ultimately decided to go in with those logs again. And uh, I tried to, again, do a little bit of uh, variation in this layout. So you'll see we got two of these back to back and then I get one of the smaller ones at the end. Uh, just kind of nuancing and trying to get it as perfect as possible. And then when I end up duplicating them, I actually end up rotating them so that uh, they feel like they're separate pieces. They don't just feel like mirrors or reflections of each other. And I also adjust their uh, location a little bit just to make them feel, I don't know, a bit more natural. Uh, that's something I want to focus a bit more on. I haven't done enough of that where, you know, things aren't perfectly sized. I need to do a bit more of that. But uh, overall, you know, pretty happy with how, uh, how all that's looking. And then finally, I decide, you know what, enough people have commented on the, uh, the slopiness, <laughs> the, uh, the steepness, the height, the issues, I should say, with our, uh, overpass over here and I was like you know I really want to see these tortoises make their way over so I ended up kind of reducing the height uh, from the top while also making things a bit more chunky from the bottom over here there was just enough give I think that allowed me to uh, smooth things out a little bit more and I tried to balance things out on both sides because the tortoises were willing to get up on one side but not willing to go down on the other so wasn't sure exactly where the problem point was part of me believes it was just because they were hungry or thirsty halfway up and decided to pull back to the other side but overall happy with with how that, uh, uh, you know, smoothing has kind of gone. Uh, I feel like that's enough time spent on this habitat. Uh, this is not supposed to be the focus of this episode. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm done. Let's go ahead and, and seal it back off again and uh, and see how the tortoises interact with this after that. We'll need to do a little bit of adjusting again, adding some more rocks and stuff to the top, perhaps. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall, still happy with this habitat as a whole. There's a couple of ways we can solve the issues here. Uh, I'm just hoping that the ideal solution uh, will happen before we have to go to one of our fallback plans. Also, based on the comments, I added another shelter over here, another hard shelter, because good call, folks. I should add them on both sides. But apart from uh, getting some more rocks down underneath the paths over here, that's it for this time lapse. All right, that was actually a much longer time lapse than I expected it to be, if I'm completely honest, but uh, pretty happy with how things are, are looking overall. Might need to do a little bit of adjusting and nudging around here and there every once in a while when I notice a couple things that don't uh, quite feel perfect, but uh, you know, the good thing about the log cabin look is that a little bit of imperfection actually goes a long way. Uh, hopefully people are uh, going to use this plaza area a bit more. Again, I might need to get rid of that uh, uh, picnic table there, but that's that's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and let time continue a little bit. We spent about, what, 3,000, 4,000 actually, I think, on that, uh, on that time lapse. So let's go ahead and let time progress a little bit. Let's make a little bit more money, get us back above that 20K, and then we can get to work on our next exhibit. So time shall move forward, and hopefully, I mean, we did hire a, bunch of new people. I, I hope that's not going to eat into our profits too much. I hope I don't find myself in a position where I actually end up needing to do another, uh, <laughs> take another loan. Uh, I, you know what? I, I actually wouldn't be surprised. I would... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I do hope that, uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do it uh, this session. I, I know I said it wasn't going to be my focus or anything, but I do hope that the tortoises are now able to actually go uh, over this mound. I mean, many of you have been mentioning it uh, quite often. It's quite clear that many of us want this to work, me especially. So hence, I, I couldn't resist. I couldn't help myself. I know, I know I should, I should be better about that, but I just couldn't help myself. And uh, hopefully the new um, setup will be a bit more approachable for these tortoises because otherwise i mean again there have been a couple of suggestions of what i can do i could split it into two separate habitats and that way we don't have to worry about um uh we don't have to worry about one animal not crossing over or anything like that that is an option however i would like to not have to rely on that worst case scenario i think what i'll do is i'll uh maybe get um uh, get this split into two separate tortoise habitats. The other issue is that you actually cannot put down, and I think this is silly, if I'm completely honest, uh, you're not allowed to put down a second habitat gate. It says adding multiple habitat gates to a habitat, that means you're not allowed, um, so I can't actually allow keepers to come through here as well, um, you know, in order to fill these things up. So that's a little unfortunate and a little silly, if I'm completely honest. Uh, hopefully they'll patch that out or something i don't know we'll see we'll see oh people are coming up here so that's good that's good that's good so ticket price is great now actually many, some of you were mentioning that i do have some overlapping education ah yes thank you very much good call i was like i don't recall that but 
you guys are right. This is what I mean. This is, this is another reason why I really like comments is because it really helps me um, notice things that I wouldn't have noticed while just playing. Because a lot of times when you're playing and recording, you, you end up missing stuff. Um, and that can that can really hurt you. I also should have mentioned earlier, um, you might have noticed a big jump in my conservation credits between the last session and this one. That's because I was making sure to log in daily over the last couple of days to make sure I got my conservation credits uh, that you get. I think it's 100 per um, day that you log in. So I wanted to make sure that I got those and I wasn't, um, you know, not getting them. I, I don't know a better way to put it. So that's why you've seen a big bump over there. Just thought I'd mention it uh, in case you were wondering, how did that happen? Is there a weird glitch or a bug or an issue or what's going on? Oh, excuse me. You are supposed to be. I figure since time is moving forward anyway, we might as well go in and double check some of these things. You're supposed to be made of glass. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. People seem to be having a good time over here. Donations are coming through still. Wow. You guys are some serious money makers, actually. So this is good. Happy with that. Happy with that. Um, yeah, still no tortoises over here. But at least, again, I do believe that this overlay is telling us they are a... Oops. Yeah, okay. They are able to make their way over. Oh, no. I've made it worse. <laughs> I've somehow made it worse. Um, I do not want baby tortoises dropping off from over here. That would be horrible. That would be horrible. Let's go ahead and raise these a little bit. That should uh, make for a better situation, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Bit of a jumping point over here. But yeah, it seems as though they can make their way over. What I could maybe do is nudge some of these uh, over a little bit so they have a little bit more room. Because I think that's going to get them the way as well otherwise. But nudge this a little bit over. And see, they make their way up. I think what ends up happening... There we go, that's perfect. I think what ends up happening is they get up top and then um, they decide that they don't want to keep going because they're hungry or something like that. I think that's what ends up happening. Because see, here's the thing. If they weren't able to um, cross... Go ahead and make a little example over here. If they weren't able to cross, then it would update and it would block off like this. So the game lets you know they're able to cross. Um, just a matter of them doing it. I mean, is it this little sliver over here that's blocking them? Maybe. Maybe. We could try smoothing this out. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I promise, I'm gonna stop being distracted by this shortly. I'm just waiting for money to climb back up, and it seems as though money has climbed back up. Bla climbed back, climbed back up? Is that the past tense of climb? I'm blanking here. Uh, it looks like we're pretty good to keep going. Just wanna, just gotta, come on. Can't possibly be just this one sliver over here, could it? Okay, let's, let's get that refreshed. There we go. That looks traversable. Perfect. Okay, hopefully that'll do the trick. Now, uh, wait. Okay, I was like, why is it dark? We said no dark. Oh, spider had some offspring. Let's go ahead and look. take a look at you. I need to keep an eye on my um, notifications more. I wish they were a bit bigger, if I'm completely honest. Uh, maybe that's just me, though. I, I, I do wish they were a little bit bigger, so they were a bit easier to spot and notice. And then again... I think it's just a matter of while recording, you kind of stay, you get tunnel vision really easily. I wonder if everybody here, we should trade out. I cannot remember who the parents are. I cannot remember who the parents are. <laughs> For the life of me. I can I can see who the mother is. Michaela's the mother. So maybe we only keep Michaela and get rid of everybody else here. Maybe. Pablo, Marco... Javier and Philippe. All guys. No. Um, let's go ahead and put you into the Trade Center. Again, I, I guess we can't release them into the wild. Ooh. Oh, and sorry. I, I, I meant to keep mentioning whenever I was going to go into the uh, the spider exhibit, just as a heads up for anybody who does have arachnophobia. Uh, but it keeps slipping my mind. My apologies. I do try to stay on top of that. But heads up, I'm going to be looking at spiders for a little bit right now uh, as we try to get, first of all, all of these spiders, Brazilian wandering spiders, uh, we're going to try and get rid of, uh, but let's go ahead and get another male first. Oh, I, they, they make me quite uncomfortable as well, looking at them. Brazilian wandering spiders, especially the bigger ones. Marco, uh, let's go ahead and get you in here. Not the best uh, longevity, but it, it'll do. So Marco, you are going to be moved into here. And then everybody else we're going to get rid of. All of you. Oh, wow, look at that money. All right. Gotta go in there separately. So, Pablo. There we go. Philippe. 
Ooh, you're worth quite a bit. Marco. Oh, who do we, didn't we just get Marco or did we just get Pablo? God damn. Is, I'm, <laughs> well, well, bad guy over here not keeping a track of my animals properly. And let's go ahead and get rid of Trinity as well. Yeah, I guess you can't release these guys into, um, into the wild. Good bit of money to be made over here. Good stuff. All right. Happy about that. Let's take a look at our, our challenges over here. Conservation rating to a one star. Zoo reputation to two stars. And have at least 700 guests. We'll get there. We're at 360 right now. We're at 350 at the top of this. People are coming up over here. I don't think they're sitting down though. It might just be also because of the distance from the food to the uh, seating area. And I don't know if there is something to actually check uh, seating. Nah, there is not. Doesn't seem to be the case. No. Fair enough. Well, we'll, uh, you know what? Here, let's try it out. Because, yeah, they're clipping through this and whatnot. So let's go ahead and let them get their donation through. Let's get rid of you. And let's see if people start using this a bit more. Hopefully they will. All right, we're at 24K. This keeper hut's being used. Excellent. We've already said hello to our VIP guest. We do have this vet research completed as well. We said we were going to switch it around afterwards. Oh, we finished two things at once. Great. Um, so, first of all, Tia, let's go ahead and stop your research. And we want to actually train you go ahead and get your staff training going excellent and then uma dunbar let's go ahead and get you working on diseases so just, just let's just start with uh like i don't know which is more important to have first or second or whatnot if you guys have any suggestions on that front let me know more than happy to uh, adjust accordingly but i figured let's at least get something going we've upgraded our snakes as well so they should be pretty happy alert over here what's the alert what, what's the, uh, what seems to be the problem? A lot of people are pretty excited about this area. Climate's right. I think they're well fed and everything. One male, one female. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, are they, uh, related? That's another thing that I'm not 100% sure how to double check on is, um, oh no, hold on. Cleanliness. Keeper seems to be on his way over. To clean it up. That, I guess that's the problem. And that's dropping welfare significantly. Alright, fair enough. Hopefully they'll fix that up. Alright, um, so that's all that. Money's looking... Ooh, we just dropped significantly again. Went from 24 to 22, but I think we're still at an okay position where we can... This is gonna be one of the longest recorded sessions, I think. I think we can get to our grizzly bear right now, though. Look at the, look at the crowd. This is good. Ooh. Ooh. Keep going. Keep going, kiddos. Keep going. I also put in like the resting space and enrich a different type of enrichment and everything over there as much as I could think to put. Another suggestion was actually to make a little underground swimming uh, path to get over to here as well, which they might be more likely to take. So that is something I'll experiment with. We'll get another water treatment facility, maybe somewhere over here, uh, something to, to help out because again, guests don't like being too close to it. And this one's all the way up over there. So maybe we'll do something there. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. I want to see if you're going to make your way over. I mean, these guys are tiny. You guys are tiny. But they are hydrated. They're well fed. Making their way over. We'll see what they do. Let's see what they do. I know, I know. Focusing more on the tortoises. Ah, I see they're hungry. Now let's see. By the time they get to the top over here, they get hungry. Will they keep going? Because there's food over here. Um... There was food over here. It's gone now. Oh, looks like they're making their way over. Look at these explorers. Adelita and... Angel? Angel? Sorry. I'm trying. It's, uh, it doesn't come naturally to me, but I am trying. Oh, okay. They're going to make their way over. Caught themselves in a bit of a chilly space over here. Let's go ahead and get this heater duplicated and over to here. What's the problem here? Low welfare on their way over because they're hungry. No. It is because of the temperature. We gotta fix that. But hey! They made it over. I just realized we completely stopped celebrating for a second there. They made it over. Well, that's what matters. I need to make sure I get uh, a little food enrichment or something over here. Or our tortoises. Get a little dog ball or something. And of course, well, the baby's over here. That means we should get a donation box here as well. Um, where is... Hold on. Time to start upgrading our donation boxes, I think. 
Well, we can't move them together. Fair enough, because one's not an object. All right, well, let's go ahead and just put down the donation box for now. Otherwise, we're missing out on some income. Go ahead and put you over here. Go ahead and put one over here. Get you over here. Back there, cool. And let's also get you over here. I need to get my education ratings higher. People aren't really satisfied with how much education they're getting. Okay, let's do that. So you two hopefully will start feeling a little bit better now that there's food and stuff. You're thirsty as well. So it looks like there is water in here. Water pipe. I guess it stays permanently filled. No food in here. I wonder... Hmm. Let's see. Are you able to... No, you're not able to get up there. Why are you not able to get up there? Going to habitat. I assume you're going to this habitat. No, you're going to a different one. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to make sure they can climb over and actually eat and drink over here. But hey, these are our intrepid adventurers. They, they, they were the first to come over. That's rather cute. That's rather cute. I'm wondering... <laughs> something I could do is every once in a while separate this into a separate habitat and then get people... Get a keeper to drop food and stuff off over here and then make it one habitat again. I don't know. That sounds really bad. Need a mechanic here as well. Go ahead and get the mechanic here every month. The stuff needs repairing. Keeper's coming every month as well. God, they're so slow. All right. Well, hey, you know what? What matters is we know that this is working. And let's go ahead and get some of this bedding over here as well. So that should they choose to rest over here, they're able to. I'm, I'm so... I adore the fact that we have a pair over here. It's just so cute. How are they making their way back already? Have a drink. Have some food. Welfare's looking okay. Doesn't say they're hungry or anything. All right, cool. If you're happy, you're happy. What is this? What have we accomplished? Conservation rating to one star. Wonderful. It's a good cash injection. We're almost at 30k. Folks, uh, I think it's time to, uh, to work on our next exhibit. People are flowing through. We're at 400 plus as well. We've got plenty of uh, conservation credits. So getting the actual um, bears should not be a problem. I want it to be, where's the G for grizzly bear? There it is. And let's get rid of the timber wolves. Filter that. Yeah, we got some males and females. Uh, pretty expensive, actually. We cannot, we're not, wow. Wow, they're expensive. I guess it's going to have to be cash only. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, come on. This needs to be fixed. Anyways, I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. One last thing I want to check before I get into the uh, habitat is these guys are 1.3 years old. Social. What's the issue here? Space. Yeah, we're going to have to fix this soon as well. Again, like I said, I might do an expansion in this direction and uh, get the bison and uh, pronghorn exhibit a little bit further up, perhaps, and allow the uh, timberwolves to have a little escape down over here, perhaps. I think it'd be quite nice. I think it'd be quite nice, but that's not the topic of focus right now. The topic of focus right now is the grizzly bears. So folks, bear with me as we dive on to this time lapse. All right, this might actually be the longest time lapse that I've recorded so far. Uh, I try a few alternate methods. Um, it all works out in the end, and I'm happy, but <laughs> bear with me here, folks. So uh, first things first, I kind of set down the barrier's outline. I wanted to get an idea of how much uh, space I wanted the barrier to take, and I was hoping to also use this, as you'll see in uh, in just a moment's time. Oh, by the way, I really like the shape, and, and I've got some plans for the shape from the bird's eye view of the shape, basically. Do a quick checkup on the uh, species information over here to get an understanding of size and uh, age and, and, and things like that. And I feel like, you know what, this should be enough space based on the Timberwolf exhibit. So let's go ahead and start laying down some of the paths. So I wanted to use the snap to barrier technique to get the paths looking good. But unfortunately, as you can see, <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. It doesn't really cooperate when it comes to um, joining the other sides. And I keep having issues with our underground pathing as well. I mean, it's Fine. It's not the end of the world, but I think you can probably see I'm getting a little furious over here. Uh, yes, that is a fur pun. I'm, I'm going to try keeping those puns coming because I can't help myself. Uh, but yeah, this was just simply not working. And I think you can see as the front as the kick clicking gets a bit more frantic, I get a little annoyed and I try some like wacky solutions. I'm like, something's got to give here. Something's got to work over here. Uh, ultimately, I realize that, you know what? 
despite the use of the barrier and whatnot, the path, like using the barrier first and then laying the path down afterwards, the path simply does not look that smooth. It just doesn't look that good and I cannot stand it. And so with uh, a heavy heart, I decide to undo all of that and go in path first instead. And we'll just deal with the viewing angle issues if I have to, um, because you know what, I, I, I can't, I can't it needs to be a nice curvy path because that's what we see right away. The barrier can be a different shape, but it has to be a nice curvy path. I do take a look at the uh, uh, reg the uh, sort of negative factor area just to make sure that our guests don't actually get impacted by the um, by the water and, and, and the power generation. Unfortunately, the water and the power generation isn't low enough, um, which means that we have to adjust our, our cavernous network over here. And this boy oh boy did this not did this not change the course of this episode a little bit because check this out so uh first of all struggling with the pathing a little bit over here but pretty happy with this depth i'm like okay you know what uh, it's fine i don't mind from an aesthetic or from a uh, function perspective i don't mind having this thing go a little bit deeper it kind of makes sense actually you know you have those really deep cavernous basements and stuff at some of these uh you know zoos and, and and theme parks and things like that so i don't have any issue with that at all but yeah just trying to make sure that everything here lines up nicely that everything is reachable because otherwise things will start falling apart and that's not going to be good for anybody uh but yeah after a little bit of struggle i see that okay great it works now all i have to do is pull down and look you can see actually how high it used to be earlier you can see the little sparks and stuff uh but yeah i decided okay let's pull down the terrain over here because we have to go in afterwards and uh and dig from up above so let's go ahead and pull things down turn the bottom into rock let's go up back up top over here and dig and uh yeah oh oh oh, oh no oh what's this didn't go deep enough <laughs> didn't go deep enough so i undo as much as i can undo so we don't have to you know waste finances but i have to back it up all the way and we have to take these like take the steps down right from the start there go really deep underground like it's almost a different like climate almost and i do use the barriers here to get an understanding of sea level uh to get an understanding of where i need to be um and what might be deep enough so basically you can adjust the uh the height notification uh the height note i suppose when you're putting a barrier down you can either get height from ground level or from sea level so i use the sea level indicator to make sure that this time when i dug down i'm going to have enough room above me to make my uh, habitat and and we this was supposed to be the habitat time lapse we haven't even got there we haven't even started digging the habitat yet and then and now we get here so we're really happy with how this habitat ends up looking um it, it's not this time lapse isn't going to have it completed entirely because it's quite a bit of an undertaking i hope you guys like it it was an idea that was recommended or suggested or asked for don't know what the right word i'm going for here is uh in the comments uh and i thought it was just an absolutely brilliant idea so uh you can see we've got this little cave area down here where i'm hoping our uh, bears will be able to come down and relax we'll actually have their bedding and stuff down there much like the wolves on the other side uh but that's not all we wanted over here we wanted things to be a bit more interesting wanted to again as always we're looking to create unique experiences for our guests and for our animals and we want our bears to feel as much at home as possible so you can see i'm kind of like dealing with the terrain over here trying to sculpt a bit of a river and not just a river but get the river going and also have a uh well, I wanted a series of waterfalls. We have one big waterfall at the end, which I think is going to look really nice, but I wanted to create some rapids as well, and using the rough water to get a little bit of movement uh, in the water to make it feel like a river, uh, just not eh, struggling a little bit, if I'm completely honest, with like trying to keep things at a uh, decent depth, I suppose. Uh, but, you know, it starts coming together pretty nicely. It was, uh, was definitely definitely struggling a fair bit with the uh, water tool over here and trying to find its limitations and you know undoing redoing smoothing the train moving the train up and down overall pretty happy with how uh, how it ends up looking and feeling we get our little waterfall you know dropping down to here i like how that area looks as well hoping that the bears will use this area to drink water from and to rest in so that'll give our guests some really interesting sightseeing over here and just got to make sure that the uh, path is or that the terrain is smooth enough as well for the uh, bears to go down i'm hoping to avoid uh, the bears drinking from the river because otherwise they'll just drink up here and they won't go to the cave area as often so I'm, I'm hoping to avoid that but 
You can see I've got a little bit of a rapid section up top. We have the waterfall down over here. I'm trying to smooth this out as well because, of course, this will be a viewing platform. I want to make it look nice and pretty. Uh, and then we do still have to do a lot of smoothing and, and adjusting over here. I'll have to adjust the terrain types and stuff as well. But was pretty satisfied with how things looked and felt. Got the cavern there extended a little bit as well. Smoothed out some of the uh, water areas. But uh, apart from that, it's coming together pretty nicely, actually. Uh, feeling pretty comfortable feeling pretty comfortable. We have to do some uh, visual effects and stuff, and that's not something we can do in a time lapse because unfortunately when you're paused, the visual effects don't really work. So I adjust the water here a little bit more just to get the uh, waterfall looking a bit better, but uh, back to you, normal party elite, non-time lapse party elite. All right, I think that's enough time lapsing for today. Wow, I mean, this was most of this episode was actually a time lapse. It's hilarious. And that last one, I had to take a, a mini break i had to step away from the computer because it was taking so long but i hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse uh i think i'm going to kick time back into gear uh before we continue building this habitat because there's a couple of special effects and stuff i want to get going uh but yeah feeling uh, feeling pretty happy about this overall there's a couple of adjustments that I'd, I'd like to do um but i think that'll be a matter of going in with some uh items and rocks and things like that just smoothing out this edge uh really kind of trying to get that river feel down but let's go ahead and hit play uh let's let time continue and we'll get our uh, our habitat set up i i also have to get like the barriers and stuff up you know we might actually not oh i hope we can get the bears in today i do hope we can get the bears in today so let's not waste any time let's go ahead and hit play yeah regular speed people are walking around nothing to see here just yet <laughs> please don't mind it's under construction still um but yes let's go ahead and actually before i add it over here i'd very much like to get uh, the waterfall effect over here because I, I said I was going to get it over here a long time ago and the wolves will surely feel neglected if I don't uh, if I don't get it for them soon so let's see this is the rapid splash there we go so this is this is I'm trying to figure out exactly what I need no, that's a that's not right waterfall top oh there we go beautiful you have the waterfall top somewhere like over here and then you get the waterfall bottom a nice big uh, doesn't look quite right there we go I guess I gotta drop it like this there we go beautiful that's exactly what I was looking for so uh not I mean not not perfect I feel like it could be a little bit better but that's the effect I'm going for over there and we'll maybe add uh add some more effects in there a oh, waterfall midsection I suppose I could there we go. Ooh, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Amazing. You know what? That, yeah, pretty happy with that. We might make some adjustments to it later to make it flow a bit more nicely, but that's got everything I was hoping for. And in fact, glad I uh, took a look at all that because it's kind of effect I'm looking for over here as well. Let's see. So let's get the rapids like over here again. We it's a little unfortunate that it doesn't feel like a full on river, like it doesn't have a flow to it. It's just kind of slightly moving. Um, go ahead and drop you over here. Waterfall bottom, and I, and I want a big, like, waterfall bottom effect. And, like, over here, gotta face you the right way. Move you over here, excellent. Excellent. Again, this was, uh, based off of, I, I hope I didn't mention this, I probably already mentioned this in the time lapse, uh, but just in case I didn't, I'll mention it again. Uh, this was something that was suggested in the, uh, comments a couple of episodes ago, and some of you sort of seconded it or mentioned it as well separately, uh, and I think it's a great idea to have this, like, river kind of a network, uh, because that's very fitting for, uh, for bears. It's extremely fitting for bears, uh, it'll help them feel right at home, uh, especially if I can find, there we go, the midsections. Ah, beautiful. And I think it should make for a pretty nice view as well. Yeah, I feel like that's, uh, that's looking good. Now, the thing was, I wanted to actually get... Ooh, a rattlesnake is expecting offspring again. Have we seriously con completed another one? No, no, no. Gotta get a five-star report, fair enough. And you, we should just say hello to. Oh, we already have. Sorry, I know I got distracted there. Waterfalls all over the place, no thank you. All right, let's go ahead. Now, these things are pretty expensive. I wish I could get... Rapids foam. Um, let's see. Gotta get it facing the right direction. Whoa. What happened there? Like the visual effect took over the screen or something. If we rotate you like so, move you up a little bit. 
There we go. And I wonder if we could do it like over here as well. I wanted it. It's a little unfortunate though. The water system relies so heavily on um, the terrain sculpting and it just wasn't working perfectly. But you know what? I feel like we got a pretty decent thing going here. I could get the uh, splashing. Whoops. So I get the splashing over here as well. Let's go ahead and pause it real quick. Uh, there's just so much going on. I should probably. Oh, it stops the effects. All right. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of these notifications. What have we got over here? Low welfare on our Brazilian wandering spiders. Why is that? Temperature. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, power must be the issue. Damn. Just slightly too far away. Okay, okay, not a problem, not a problem. Should have checked that a bit sooner. And that's why I'm glad I paused to check for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and move you, buddy. You over by a slot. You are reachable still. Yes. Yeah, you saw how much adjusting I had to do for the um <laughs> for these facilities. I didn't realize just how high they were, but oh, still not good enough, eh? Wow, okay. Um Let's see. Wonder if I should get a separate one. Pop you down over here. Guests will not like that, though. It's getting really close to this walkway. What if I put you down over there? Power? Nah. It's too far away. Hmm. That's not good. Let's go ahead and put you down over here. Now, see, because then some of these things stop getting power. It might be time to put down a second uh, power... Uh, facility. Okay, we'll put this one back over here. Let's see if we get them side to side. And I can extend our, uh, walkway a bit. And get more power coming across. Whoa. This, uh, isn't helping. The view wasn't helping. So that, that definitely needs to be done, though. Camera's acting weird. There we go. Go ahead and get you down over here. Get you down over here. Got to expand you a little bit. Yep, these are connected. Are you connected? You don't look connected. Got to make sure these are both connected here. Move you up a step. Let's get our path set up. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, this underground network is great in theory, but boy oh boy, sometimes it... Um, doesn't work perfectly. <laughs> now what's the deal here? Yeah, see this is acting weird. There we go. Wish I could get out of here without needing to move all the way back. Because this thing does not let me go through the stone. Despite what uh, many people have suggested, it does not work. Alright. Now where is our... There we go. Excellent. So glad this is working. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep you a little distance away, obviously, from the guests. And hopefully that, that'll be able to power this entire area. That'll be able to power this entire area. Down from here, can I go down from there? No. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry folks, I'm sorry. I don't know, I, I, I decided to overcomplicate matters by building this entire underground section. I mean, hey, it looks nice, but certainly has overcomplicated certain elements of our uh, of our park. Gotta get facilities, gotta get power. Right. Would like you to flatten terrain. Sure, I don't mind that. Come on now. There we go. Just have to kind of manually place it in here. Fine with that. Got to make sure it actually attaches to the path as well. There we go. Cool. And that ought to connect to everything. If I can get out of there. Looks like it. Yeah, looks like we've got power connection over here. Now, I can eventually move it a bit further out, but I don't need to do that just yet. Let's take a look at, not guest education, but negative impact. Seems as though we are in the clear. Okay, excellent. Cool. So that's that solved. Done with you. 
welfare will be back up shortly. We've completed some research as well. Mechanic research, excellent. I should hire another mechanic to research some more stuff, actually. Oh, we just got... We just got the new power source. So I, that was all a giant waste. I knew I should have checked this first. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, we'll, we'll hire another mechanic and get them researching barriers. Uh, or actually, let's get you researching barriers again. I want to get to level 5. Get that one-way glass. And we'll go ahead and hire another mechanic. And this mechanic, maybe we'll just leave as... Uh, as a mechanic, um, where are we? Like, we, we want somebody who's able to actually repair things, um, doesn't have to get distracted by research. So let's go ahead and get you over here. Let's make sure you are assigned the right work zone, central. Reduce your salary a little bit. You're not that good, buddy. All right, good. That should be helpful. Uh, apart from that, we finished this vet research as well. Is that the disease? Yes, it is. Excellent. Uh, let's stay focused. And you know what? Let's get, uh, Let's get some more work going on to the Timberwolf. I wonder if... Nah, we'll, 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 we'll wait until the um, habitat's built and then we'll start researching the, um, the, the grizzly bears. All right, sorry, back, back to it, though. That's all of our notifications taken care of? Yes. Oh, hold on. Inspector is here. They weren't very happy with... Oh, no. Jose was dehydrated. Going to see Lucas. Lucas, how are you? Hope you're doing okay, Lucas. You're looking pretty good. Last meal quality was kind of low. Not happy with social group either. Space is not enough. Ah, we're not going to get a five-star review this time around. Just wasn't able to get enough done in time. But the next review will likely be a five-star review. All right, let's get uh, good time going again. These guys... Okay, good. I was like, why are you stuck here? Don't tell me the game's broken. All right, what are we looking at here? So this is looking okay. I wonder if this one couldn't... Uh, maybe come out a bit like this. There we go. All right, feeling good, feeling good. Got this, we've got this over here. Maybe we could get... Um, where was it? Rapids Foam. Over here as well, or Rapid Splash. Just to really make it feel like it's a bit more active. A bit more active. And get like the small waterfall bottom. That's too big. Sure. Get you over here. Up a little bit. Down a little bit. Don't want the water looking like it's overflowing. Okay. There we go. Gotta make sure all this stuff is looking right. I wish you could see the effect stuff more easily. Like the really tiny pips. Still feels like there's a bit of overflow going on. Not the biggest fan of that. What's the deal here? Power source failing. Got a mechanic over here. Thankfully, we have a backup. Uh, a backup now. We do have our other mechanic as well. Hired him just in time, I guess. Sorry. Right, hopefully that'll get fixed up. You are, yeah, four stars. That's okay. At least it's not one star or anything like that. Education facilities are pretty low. I need to get to work on that. I need to get to work on that. Jose was dehydrated. That's too bad. But, you know, four star is not the end of the world. Missed out on an opportunity to make some big bucks, but it's not the end of the world. Next time. Next time. I wish you could... Oh, yeah. You can you can kind of see them. I just wish it was a bit easier. What do we do? Like that? Yeah, sure. Do that. We've got this. That's flowing nicely. Need to do something up there, I think. Need to get, like, one of these up there as well. The Rapids one. Rapids. Splash effect, maybe? Yeah. Just to get it, like, looking busy on both sides. That should be good. Alright. Something of a start. Um, and then... We're gonna get some rocks and stuff. We've got the, uh, the cavern area over here. And... Yeah, I think, um... I think that's all the playing I like the 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 I think the time can pause now is what I meant to say. Then we can get the barrier and stuff set up as well and hopefully well actually you know what? Go ahead and speed time up a little bit. I would like to Oh no, what's wrong, buddy? Last meal quality. Really? Is it because we know that we can feed you better food now? I could actually up meal qualities. Uh think about it. 
I could up your meal quality. Great, dude. We can go right up to grade 3, in fact. And some of these guys are not having a good time. We've got the climate looking okay. No, no, we do not. All right, what's the problem here? What's the problem here? Let's go ahead and get a heater. <gasps> they're able to come up to here to clean poop, but they're not what? They're not um, willing to. They're not willing to do the um, feeding for some reason. That doesn't make any sense. But move you over here. These animals warm up top over here. Hopefully they won't get into this area. Move you down a little bit. Move you over a little bit. And we'll actually copy it over to this side as well. Heating costs are going to be through the roof, but... I didn't want to move these guys indoor. I wanted them to have a nice outdoor space. Hopefully that'll keep them warm. Hopefully that'll make them happy. Alright. Back to here. Oh, little winter wonderland we've got going on. This area is protected from snow, it seems, but... Uh, somehow the river keeps flowing. That's fantastic. I think we're going to do one last quick, uh, quick time lapse. Because we need to, uh, yeah, we need to get our barriers set up and stuff. And then we can actually get the, uh, huh, need to get our barriers set up. Hey. Um, and then we need to get, make a way for our, um, staff to come through and actually, you know, take care of the bears. That's going to be an interesting connection to make. All right, time lapse time, folks. Here we go. I guess I was lying when I said the last time lapse was the last time lapse. I apologize, but we're back at it again. Uh, this one shouldn't be... Well, this one isn't a very long one. I, I know how long it is. It's not a very long one. We just got to get the uh, barrier set up and stuff. I wanted to get... Uh, I wanted to get the bears in here today if possible so i want to make sure that the keepers are able to get over here again just creating a little gap over here are going to be using the uh steel mesh barrier i believe it is because that one is strong enough but ultimately we're going to be hiding it behind rocks and stuff anyway so it doesn't really matter and then going around the side over here using the null barrier because we I mean, we, we don't need a physical barrier there. This is a null barrier for now as well. We'll eventually change it to glass, of course. We don't want the bears to be able to escape from down there. Uh, but yeah, for now, just going around the loop over here, feeling pretty good, actually, with how this entire thing has come together. Uh, the barrier causes a little bit of issue over here when trying to uh, sort of close it off for some reason, but whatever, that's easily solved. Just had to undo a little bit, loop it back around from the other side, and uh, and yeah, it gets done. I'm pretty happy with the overall expanse, the overall space that the enclosure provides. Uh, I think the shape of it's pretty interesting, and uh, yeah, we just swap this into glass, take it all the way to the top. We have to adjust, of course, the, the placement of these a little bit. Don't want to, I don't know, don't, don't, don't feel comfortable with having the uh, bears able to stick their noses through or anything there's the gate as well thankfully it fits very nicely adjust the heights over here make sure nothing's able to leave we have to make sure this is all climb proof as well because otherwise the bears will get out but this is looking pretty nifty pretty nifty i think what do you guys think well except for this hole all right now we got the barriers and all set up we can actually bring the uh the bears in hopefully this is going to be a high quality exhibit over here god anyways let's uh Let's stop, pause, and get things going. Let's go ahead and get into animal trading and get ourselves some grizzly bears. Uh, hopefully we're able to afford some of them. I will need to get some coolers in over here. I do need to get some donation boxes and stuff. There's still a fair bit to do, but I want to officially get our grizzlies in today. So let's go ahead and get them in cash listing form only, please. Come on, filter. You gotta work for me here. Filter, filter, filter. Come on, come on. What if I set a maximum? Because if I can't, if I can't get this working, then, well, then I can't do anything. I can't, <laughs> can't get the animals. The, the, oh, there we go. All right. Uh oh, it's just two females, really? That's all I can do? Well, I mean, I guess I could get a female now and then get a male eventually. That is an option. Uh, if we take a look at the, um, you know what? I'm not going to take a look at Zoopedia. Let's just take a look at their, oh, wow, they're really bad. The immunity is really low as well. Fertility is really low. What if I change these numbers? What if I get rid of the max completely? That should... Give us... Oh, no, looks like... Wow. Come on. Give me some grizzlies. Give me some grizzlies. Come on, game. We had all this effort and now... Nothing? Nah, we got this, we got this. I, the game needs to fix this urgently. This is kind of um, 
kind of ridiculous. I understand it's based off of a um, you know server and this, that, and the other thing, but look, look the, half, half the animals are missing. Ew. <laughs> Come on. What are we, what's going on here? Give me just the grizzlies. Give me cash listings. Any price. I don't think this is going to work. I think we are out of luck today in terms of getting those grizzlies in, which is really kind of bumming me out, folks. I'll be honest, because I really wanted to get them in here. Oh, come on. What if we, like, swap something else in? What if we do a bunch of things? No. Just doesn't want to filter. I thought we were past this game. Thought we were past this. Seems as though there are no grizzlies to be had anyway. Uh, what if I get rid of cash listing as a filter and... Oh, you know what? Himalayan. No, god damn it. <laughs> grizzlies. There we go. The grizzlies are expensive. Grizzlies are expensive. Might need to uh, give it some time before we can get them. 2,000 is the cheapest I think I've seen so far. Well, it doesn't help that this doesn't seem to be working properly. You know what, folks? It seems as though, despite all the effort, despite all of our attempts at getting the grizzlies up and in today into their little habitat, it seems like it was not meant to be. I'm, I'm extremely sorry about that, folks. My sincerest apologies, but it is out of my control. I simply cannot afford the conservation credit uh, approach, and no matter how much money I have... Seems as though they're not available for purchase. We're going to give it one last try. Hopefully... Oh. Hello. Great. I'm happy for you. We'll, 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 we'll fancy up the tortoises and stuff soon. But I'm hoping that the game has heard my pleas. And we're going to see when I click filter. No. Ah. Ending on a bit of a low note here, folks. But this is... We're going to call it a session. This has been like two and a half hours of recording... Uh, with like a mini pause that I had to take, but I am currently starving, <laughs> so I gotta take a proper break over here, do the edits, and uh, hopefully, despite our unfortunate end, uh, where we didn't get everything we wanted, hopefully you guys still enjoyed, uh, we did get the accomplishment of seeing the tortoises make their way over, so that's certainly a, uh, a thing to celebrate. Certainly very proud of our little tor tortoises for doing that, so hopefully you can celebrate that with me, folks. Got these upgrades done over here as well, some updates over here. People aren't using this area, so you might want to get that plaza going over here. This is a bit of a mess. Glad I spotted that. Can't, can't end the session on that. No, that's just nasty. Come on, in a little bit more, in a little bit more. There we go. And you, we need to actually send you as well as you in a little bit that way. Cool, there we go. All right, cool, sorry. That's what we're going to call it a session, folks. Again, ah, I can't explain how bad I feel that we didn't actually... We weren't able to get the um, the Grizzlies in here, but we've got the exhibit going, so it's just a, just a moment's time, just a matter of luck, I guess, before we get that going. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Uh, you know, Give me your feedback, your thoughts, your suggestions, anything and everything is always welcome as we uh, continue to have a rather stable zoo. Very happy to see that we are where we are right now. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly and a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.